guys, uh, how are you? Hello. Uh, hope you well. Uh, welcome to the Calligraph X Scale Strobe Studio Space. Uh, I mean, we call, we prefer, we like to call us the future is now kind of studio space because uh, we really we believe we're one of the best uh, collective that's there within this or within the country yeah this is not even a, this is not us bragging but it's just like you know the work that also been put in really facts like, <laughs> <laughs> you know social yeah. media stats, you know if you check it you know you also understand that you know why we say what we say so in this space really uh it's uh create it, it's, it's a whole and it's a whole mixed energy of cre of 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 creating because instead of what we do with this creating at least we say we do this we do that so as part of what we, we do as far as creating is concerned, we create new rocks, we create, uh, we create uh, we, set, set, design. set design, we create, uh, only you want to add on? Yeah, it's costuming, styling, and art, uh, creative art direction, so it promises an all-round, all-round. Yeah, it's an all-round space. And Olin is a musician, correct? Yes, sir. I do music, then I write. Whenever I get spare time, that's when I write. But throughout, it's the other music that I do full-time, mm -hmm. then write it spare time. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how I divide my music. It's a bit of mm -hmm. mixed, mixed, mixed mediums. There is right, there is the other music that I'm pushing, the small indigenous songs. And, yeah, small indigenous songs, then... It's a hybrid, hybrid music. This was a beer hall, so instead of when did they start cleaning it up? Um, uh, three months ago. Three months ago. Yeah, three months ago. Yeah, so we got in and started cleaning it up. It was a beer hall. The licensing scene. So yeah, so whose music in yeah. French? Yeah, beer hall turned into a uh, creative studio. So yeah, it's been it's been it's been um, we started cleaning up in March. Three months. Yeah. I think we took three months like cleaning up. Then mm -hmm. oh, that's where we are at the moment. It's still sixty percent down. It's still going to go. Okay. Yeah, when I do something, they move into the covers. And these are the final ones. Yeah, also from the artists. And by just looking at this, yeah, you get a sense of the. For me, at least, like when we were growing up, you get a sense of just the penetration and influence influence of non-South African music, like what mm. was that show on ZTG or oh, oh, Africa, what was the thing that uh, you Afrobeat. Yeah. Afrobeat. Yeah. 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 So you get a sense of the South African influence with that stuff there coming true, in true. and I can see some rumba there and it, like it takes you back into that space like you know like yeah. the Gwenya Brothers, yeah. Freddie yes, Bola, yes. Hey. If this DJ was, was organized, this is not the whole of the team. Uh, you know, others have really actually gone gone home all together. But all together, as we say, murals, also graffiti. Uh, yeah, today kind of draw. So it's kind of it's scale and trouble. When Uden was actually speaking, I'm speaking forth also for scale and trouble. We are Calligraph, we co found Calligraph, it's me and Nyasha together. Uh, today, really, we have got over 300 plus murals that we've done in the round. The country, uh, we have managed to also to, to have one in uh, Lusaka, Zambia. So the plan really was also stopped by COVID because we intended to make sure that we, we have our footprint dotted all around Africa all together. So that's that's kind of work, that's kind of the work that we do. Still evolving and now set designing. Uh, we've done our, quite recently together as a collective. We've worked with Shop Festival. We did their set design for Voice to Rap. We also did their set. We, we did also their set design for Peace in the Hole. So it's it's, it's 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 really all about one of our biggest beliefs altogether. The hence you see the synergies. How can we collaborate? How can we bring bring and create beautiful and amazing things all together? That's that's one thing. And how can we really not just make things small scale, but how can we really make them large scale? big scale and you know just be just be global but coming just be global but still coming from Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily saying that you know there's nothing happening in Zimbabwe to be like I'm in Zim, best in Zim, but you know look at the things that we also do mm -hmm. to compete not to compete so to say but also to make sure that Zimbabwe also uh, creative yeah, yeah. uh expression really is right there with the best that with the best in Africa altogether. So you know, that's, that's pretty much what we're doing, what you're buying for, and the vision really is to 
green color within communities within the city to do the best that we could while it was still on top of the ground because you know mm -hmm. and we also believe um, work first excellence and then money comes later yeah. like because <clears throat> Um, there's a there's a syndrome of saying we need to fund it first so that we can get the work done. Mm -hmm. And we have two dollars in our pockets. It's got a dollar. It's got a dollar. I got a dollar. Let's go and work. Mm -hmm. Then money comes later. Mm -hmm. Anzi, um, choose excellence and then money chases your pants down. So yeah, mm -hmm. it will come. <laughs> yeah. It will come. Yeah. It will come. Yeah. And we also um, we also collect old things. Anything old, we collect. So yeah, it's scary things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And we are uh, part-time thrifters. Lenny has been teaching us to thrift. So mm -hmm. Whenever you go, you've got a dollar in your pocket. Go and look for costumes. You see a dog skirt, you know, a dog shoe, a dog hat, or a collect. Man, so that's that's what's up. Is, yeah. is, is there anyone funding this space at the moment? Uh, no, for us, no. no. Please get in touch, yeah, because um, there are also opportunities for for this kind of things. I think like the world. I mean, what I've seen a lot is that people actually miss out on opportunities where you can kind of present the work that you're doing and what it means socially and how you're developing like and creating awareness of the work that you're doing i know for a fact that in our organization at the moment we've got a program called sound connect and it's all about finding connections between like what you're doing sound the community developing you know creating awareness and in essentially finding a sustainable way of uh, continuing to do what you do and you can get for that thing you can get you know funding from you know 40,000 euros mm -hmm. 280,000 euros so I can imagine that could really change you know how you do your work and we saw the call yeah. out and we missed the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so the next call out is coming up so it's enough time to don't miss the lunch yeah. <laughs> <laughs>